This looks insane. But what if I told you, you can make it in minutes inside Blender. And not just one look, we can make unlimited different variations from the same setup. No crazy notes, no simulations, just a simple setup to create unlimited vibrant liquids. So let's go. Starting with a quick setup, I already have this Skull 3D model imported here. And you can use the same model or use any 3D model that you have. And for the first step, I'm gonna press Shift A and add a plane. This will be your background so I'm gonna position it behind our skull. And the second thing that I'm gonna add is a camera. Position it to be facing towards the skull. Also updating the focal length here to be 100 so it looks a bit more zoomed in. Next, I'm gonna drag from the top right to create some more windows. For the upper one, I'm gonna change it to the shader editor. And the below one, I'm gonna change it to compositor. And this completes our quick setup. Now we can get started with world and materials. So with the background selected, I'm gonna go to the material tab and create the background material and similarly select the skull and create a new material. Now let's switch to the world setting and I'm gonna be using this colorful liquid image from Unsplash but you can search for any other cool colorful image that you like and that will be the world texture. So in the background setting now, select the node and press Ctrl T to add all these nodes. Just make sure the node wrangle add-on is turned on in your preferences to use this shortcut. Now press open to add the image that we just downloaded and as we can see it's added to our world setting. Now let's go back to the object setting here and for the background I'm gonna create a pure black material. So change the color to black and bring the metallic and the roughness to be full so it's pure black. Now let's work on the skull material so select the skull and this one also I'm gonna change it to be pure black but as we can see it's catching some reflection from our environment. Drop the roughness to be almost zero and in the world setting again, increase the strength of our background and the colorful liquid will be easily visible on our skull. If we go to the mapping node and change the rotation, it'll update on our 3D model automatically. Now we can make it look much better by adding some glow to it. So go to the compositor setting here and press shift A to search for a glare node. Adding the glare node here, change the setting to be bloom and this will help add glow to it. Going back to the world setting, we can increase the strength even more to make the glow easily visible as we can see in the tutorial. Now stick with me here, cause I'm gonna add three things that'll make it look even better. Starting with the first one, I'm gonna go back to our skull material here and add a noise texture that'll help us create some imperfections making it look much more realistic. So add the factor node to the roughness and as you can see a bit of roughness is formed on the skull. We can press Ctrl T to add some mapping nodes and also add a color ramp in front which will help control the amount of roughness. As you can see, changing the scale and changing the color ramp will create different results so just play around with it till you find something cool. The most important thing that I'm gonna do is go back to our color ramp and change the white to be grey and it'll make the roughness look much softer and realistic. So just play around with these settings and here I'm updating the glow setting here as well and changing the rotation to create a nice reflection on the skull. The second thing that we're gonna add is also in our skull material and it'll help us create color variations. So just go to the thin film in principle BSDF and play around with the thickness till you find a nice variation. As we can see, it's adding some cool colors to it, so just play around with this setting. This is how it looks without the thin film and with the thin film added. The third thing that I'm gonna add is a hue and saturation node here in our world setting. It'll help us add some saturation to our world setting and also we can easily change the hue to create different color variations. As we can see here, the hue node is changing the color on our skull and with all this setup, now we can move on to how to create unlimited variations. So all we have to do is go back to the world setting here and change the background image and it'll automatically update since we have everything set up already. As you can see, I'm just changing the image here and it's creating different variation and you can use this to create unlimited different color liquids. And this is how the final artwork looks like. So if you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe and you can check out some other Blender tutorial here as well. See you guys in the next video. Thank you.